Brett in here with another instructional video. This time I'm installing interior art blades on this Legends of Valhalla pinball machine. So uh, first thing you want to do when you receive your art blades is you want to open up the package right away because these will come in a rolled tube and you want to make sure that they have time to relax and uh, flatten out before you use them it's going to make it a heck of a lot easier so make sure you unpack that right away get them unrolled put something on them to let them relax and then you can use them in about a day or two uh, for the install so without further ado let's lift the play field and get started the first thing you want to do is remove the lock bar and slide your playfield glass out and then obviously with the game powered off you want to lift the playfield, pull it back, make sure you do not pull it past the uh, stops on the slides, but slide it all the way back and then rest it vertically on the back box. On American pinball games there is a flap that stops the balls from uh, coming out of the trough. So you do not have to remove the pinballs on these particular games. Okay, now that the play field is lifted fully vertical, you want to make sure that you push it all the way to one side so you give yourself as much room as possible to slide the art blade in. The next thing I like to do is provide the decal with the best adhesion possible so it's a good idea to clean the surface of where the decal will get stuck with a little bit of alcohol take a clean rag and just put some alcohol on the rag and just wipe down quick the area do front and back all the areas where it's going to stick if you need to uh, reposition the play field a little bit to get that little edge um, just do so and do that for both sides. All right, I'm gonna do the dry method to apply these. Um, basically, I'm gonna remove the backing, and this is why it's important that these are flattened out, is I'm gonna take it and shimmy it um, to the side of the play field. And what you can do is use the hole that's for the back box hinge bolt you can kind of use that as your guide. So as you're sliding the decal in, put your finger on the bolt, and then you can find the edge of where you want this to stick, and then just kind of tap the top, and then you do the same thing on the front side, and tack the top, and then from there, we can wipe it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel the backing off, Now I'll take your fingers, keep your middle finger in the hole, and just slide it alongside the play field. Find the hinge bolt, and then you want to slowly move it in towards the edge. Just kind of get it tacked lightly there. And then I'm going to move up the front side and get that aligned along the edge. Just lightly tapped. Check my work. Back here. That looks good. So from here, you can take a straight edge, a credit card, some kind of uh, edge here and then you can kind of work your way from the middle out and down okay to the back side Now just run through 
the part that's covered by the play field, um, you can kind of tack that down with your hands once you have this lifted. So, um, basically from there, you'll, uh, to do the other side, you just do the exact same thing. You'll want to move the play field all the way to the right and uh, get that uh, prepped for the other side. So I will say another thing that um, we that is used at the factories and you should probably have at home are some side blade protectors. It's really just a thin piece of plastic that goes on the side. So when you are lifting your play field up and down, um, you take away that risk of scratching them. Same goes for mirror blades, um, but. These decals are a laminated uh, thick material, so they are scratch resistant, but they're not completely immune to getting scratched. So um, just be careful when lifting your play field up and down. I just want to pause a second and answer the question that might be on your mind is, why didn't he remove the play field to put the decals on? And that'd be a lot easier, wouldn't it? Well, the answer is, I didn't do that because of risk. You know, there's a higher potential of you dropping the heavy play field and breaking a lot of components on it in the process. So I'd rather have you do a safer method by leaving the play field in than taking it out. So with that, hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching.